Fireworks, of course, are a 4th of July tradition, but they're also blamed for a number of injuries. In fact, more than three quarters of fireworks-related eye injuries occur around this holiday. We're joined now by Dr. Tanvi Shah, an ophthalmologist at GVMC. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. You know, we hear so many things about the dangers of fireworks around this time of year related to explosions and, and fingers and limbs that can be injured, mm -hmm. but eye injuries really aren't something that most people think about. Well, about 10,500 eye injuries required emergency room visits last year um, during the 4th of July time period. And what causes those injuries? In other words, how are people hurt? Um, eye injuries can be corneal abrasions, burns, retinal detachments or ruptured globes, all leading to loss of vision or possibly even loss of the eye. Now, are these from professional fireworks or people that try to do it at home themselves? What, what is the greatest danger? They say about 46% of patients that are injured are actually bystanders. At even presumably, not, not the ones setting them off, but someone watching a fireworks display. Uh, it could be just a bystander watching a parent set off a firework display. It okay. doesn't have to be a professional firework display. At professional displays, you should be about 500 feet away. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is, comes back to the old advice that it is best to leave these things to the professionals in most cases. Correct. The best advice is to actually enjoy a production done by, or a display done by professionals. And even at those productions, they do recommend the American Academy of Ophthalmology that bystanders wear protective eyeglasses. So it's not just fireworks, but sparklers can be dangerous, too. Sparklers are the leading cause of um, injuries, eye injuries, to children under the age of five. So we think that they're harmless little toys that kids can play with, but... They actually burn dangerous. up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 times hotter than boiling water. Very scary. So if an injury occurs, what should someone do? Seek immediate medical attention, apply no pressure to the area, do not rub the area, do not apply any ointment, do not attempt to remove any object that may be in the eye, and do not take any pain relieving medication that may be a blood thinner such as ibuprofen or aspirin. So pretty much do nothing but get help right away. Correct. All right, Dr. Shah, we wish you a very happy and safe 4th of July holiday. Thank you for coming in and speaking with us today. Thank you for having.